Our first exercise is 1.2.1. Hopefully you've already done this and you are watching the video now to make sure you understood it or you've done the first one. You're gonna watch number one here, pause it, do the second one, et cetera, et cetera. Our instructions for this exercise are to indicate whether these are propositions or non-propositions. How are we gonna do so? Well, remember we have that technical definition of what a proposition is. It's a claim about reality that can be true or false. So all we're gonna do is look at each individual sentence and see, does it fit those criteria? If it does, then it's a proposition. If it doesn't, then it's not. Number one, Los Angeles is a long way from New York. Now, is this a claim about reality? Yeah, it is. And even though it is a matter of opinion exactly how far it is, it's still something that makes sense to say true or false about. So this is a proposition. Number two, let's go to Los Angeles. Is this a claim about reality? No, this is more of an exhortation. What this is is something like nudging someone out the door. Let's go. So this is a non-proposition. Number three, Los Angeles, whoopee! Is this a claim about reality? Well, no, this is one of those exclamations we talked about. Things like, yes, or ouch, right? It's things you just, you're, you're not making a claim, you're just shouting them out. So this is a non-proposition. Number four, would that Los Angeles were not so far away. Is this a claim about reality? Well, no, this is more of a wish, right? It's not like you're saying Los Angeles is far away, even though it kind of assumes that it is. It's more that you are uh, just wishing out loud. Now, what's interesting is, so this is a non-proposition, but what's interesting is compare that to number five. Number five is, I really wish that Los Angeles were closer to New York. Now, is this a claim about reality? Yes, you were saying that reality is such that you feel a particular way. Right, so this is a proposition. You know, this could be a true or false statement. You might actually feel that way or might actually not. But when you're just expressing that wish in the way that we did before, then you're not actually claiming one thing or another. What's interesting is when you say this one, you could be wishing as well, right? You're wishing by making a claim, which is a little bit different from the last one, number four, where you're just wishing and you're not making any claims. So this is a proposition. The one before it is a non-proposition. Number six, I think we should go to Los Angeles. Is this a claim about reality? Well, much like the last one, you are making a claim about the way reality is. It is such that you have certain thoughts, right? So this is a proposition. Number seven, I hate Los Angeles. Is this a claim about reality? Yes, once again, you are claiming that you feel a particular way. So this is a proposition. Number eight, Los Angeles is great. Again, is this a claim about reality? Well, yeah, even though it is a matter of opinion, right? You uh, still are making a claim about reality. It's something that you, it makes sense to say true or false to, right? Los Angeles is great, false, true. So this is a proposition. Number nine, if only Los Angeles were closer. Is this a claim about reality? Well, think about the way I said it. If only Los Angeles were closer, what, right? You're not actually making any claims. This is, ex again, expressing a wish, but not by claiming something like we did in, what was it, five or six? I can't remember which one it was. But you're not saying, I wish Los Angeles were closer. That would be a claim about the way reality is. Here, you are just wistfully wishing. So this is a non-proposition. Number 10, go to Los Angeles. Is this a claim about reality? Again, like we saw before in the last video, this is a command. So it's not actually making a claim about reality, even though it might be assuming some things about reality, such that like you are not in Los Angeles, that, that's something that it's assuming, but it's not claiming you're not in Los Angeles. So commands don't make claims about reality. It wouldn't make sense to say, go to Los Angeles, false. So this is not a proposition. Now we've talked about the differences between sentences and propositions. You wanna know more? If you wanna know about stuff like, why exactly is it that propositions can't be sentences? How does a sentence express a proposition? Read the first part of 1.2.2, Sentences, Context, and Propositions, just pages six through eight. That is going to be an optional reading for you, by the way. That's what Smith says in the book, that if you are interested in the philosophy behind the logic, check that part out. Otherwise, you can go straight on to 1.3, read that section, and go to that video.